So what's up guys welcome back to TechMesh. In today's video we are going to tackle the issue where you can't activate windows on your device and you might get the error code of here you can see in the screen 0x 80072EE7 or you might be getting another error code of 0xc004f074 so both of the issues are similar so in this screen you can see the problem is saying we can't activate windows on this device as our activation server aren't available right now or maybe you are getting the error of we can't activate windows on this device as we cannot connect to your organization so both of these problem are similar so make sure that you are connected to the internet and if your error code is because of your organization then make sure that you are connected to your organization's internet all right after connecting to the internet or your organization's internet then you should use the troubleshooter so here you can see the troubleshoot so just click on this troubleshoot icon and make sure that you are connected to the internet while you are clicking on it and then run the troubleshooter and then this will detect any problem and might offer a solution or fix the issue automatically so if it offers any kinds of solution then make sure to follow it and then try again and see if it solved your problem or not so i will show you a couple of more solutions so if the first one didn't work for you don't worry let's move on with our next step so let's close it so the next step is to run system integrity command so in your windows search just search for cmd and then run your command prompt as administrator so just right click on it and click on run as administrator so in your cmd you need to mainly type two command for this step so both of these command will be available in the description below so you can directly copy and paste it so let me just copy the first command which is sfc slash scan now so first here type the first command sfc space slash scan now and then press on enter so this command will check for and repair system integrative violation that might be causing the activation issue so let's wait for the command for completion so it might take a couple of minutes or second depending on your device so just be patient so the first command has been completed so let's move on with our second command which is dism command so let me just copy and paste it and then let's press on enter and this command will restore the health of your computer again let it run to its completion so it might take a couple of minutes so just be patient so after running both of these commands successfully then make sure to restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not and if it didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our next step which is to check and reactivate your windows license so for that go to your command prop again and run it as administrator and now here we will type some several commands so that all the commands will be available in the description below so this is the first command so let me just copy and paste this first command in our command prompt and then we need to mainly press enter and now here a windows script will appear so here you mainly need to note down any windows product key it is showing so if it is showing any windows product key then make sure to note down that product key because we will need it for the next step so after noting down your windows product key then here is our second command so just copy this command and at the end of this command you mainly need to type your product key carefully so here you need to just press a space and after giving one space then you mainly need to type your windows product key that you have found earlier all right and then press on enter so as i didn't put my product key so i am finding an error so in your case it should work all right and then after running both of this command this is the last one for this step which is slmgr.vbs space slash or ato so just type this command and then press on enter and this attempt will try to reactivate your windows again so after reactivating your computer then make sure to restart your computer and check if your problem is solved or not so let's close it for now and if it didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our last step which is to configure key management service so this step might work for most of you guys so for that again run your command prompt as administrator and now here we mainly need to write these two commands so the first one is to set the kms server so let me just copy and paste it and here you can see it is saying key management service machine name set to 
kms8.msguide.com and then let's copy and paste the second command here so it is slmgr space slash ato so just type it and then press on enter and that's it now activate in windows core edition so you mainly need to click on ok and then after running both of this command just close everything and then make sure to restart your computer so by following these steps you should be able to resolve the activation error if one of these solutions work for you please let us know in the comment section which one worked for you and don't forget to like this video subscribe to techmash and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and troubleshooting guides so if you have any questions or run into issues drop them in the comments and we'll be happy to help you so see you in the next video bye